today's video, we're opening the new Valiant Smashers Yu-Gi-Oh set. Are we excited? Uh, I guess we'll find out. What's up guys, we're back with another brand new Yu-Gi-Oh set. In this video, we have a couple Valiant Smashers booster boxes. This set is coming out today at your locals. Very exciting, very awesome. Well, it would have been if it weren't two weeks after Rarity Collection. Also, I just want to note that these boxes, collector rares, they, can we get a box that fits collector rare sets? Every time I open a collector rare set, it looks like this. Like, come on, let, let's, let's get the quality control going here. And it's really not even quality control. If you're stuffing it in a box that's too small, it's not going to fit. So that's the first note. We're on Valiant Smashers. You guys already have seen that I'm not extremely excited about this set because Rarity Collection was one of the most fun sets I've had in a very, very long time. And then they're just throwing us another one two weeks later, trying to just like to get another set in before the end of the year, which I don't love that. Though I did see there is an actual QCR for Archler Christie in here. So that is something I am excited about. Other than that, I don't know much about this set other than people are not loving it. I, this is just getting on my, like how, how, how? I don't know. So let's just get to it guys. Uh, there is a giveaway for this video. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below your favorite card from this set. And if or if not, you are actually excited for Valiant Smashers. Maybe some of you are, there might be some cool archetypes in here. As you know, I don't know a lot about the new archetypes coming out. I kind of figure those out as we go. And oh yeah, the giveaway is every card in this video. So let's go ahead and open these up. We got a 48 card opening today or pack opening more than more than 48 cards. Hopefully that would be a very poor error. One, one card per pack would be pretty rough. So uh, hopefully the packs are good in here. This thing is yeah, it's falling apart. One final new set, last set of the year. So we'll see if it was worth it, you know, being the last set of the year. It would have been pretty cool to be like, yeah, remember the last set of the year last year, Rarity Collection was pretty amazing. Then we'll be like, wait, wasn't there one after that? What was it called again? Dying Smashers. Oh yeah, and if you do actually want to buy some of it, I know, maybe I'm like hating on it. And some of you guys are like, I'm really excited for this set. I do have an affiliate link and a 5% discount code. So check it out with Sassy Auto. Maybe you guys are more excited than I am. Maybe it's got some playable cards inside. I don't actually know that, but I'm hearing it's not the best set ever on that side as well, but I could be wrong. And you never really know with like the uh, the guessing about if the cards will be good. A lot of times people think some cards are gonna be good. It turns out they're not good. Sometimes they don't know this is gonna be a good card or maybe it's gonna be good in the future. And then it turns out to be crazy. So, you know, do, use your own judgment for that. But I'm gonna open this up today and not just today. We're gonna have some more tomorrow. We're probably gonna do a little Valiant Smashers versus Rarity Collection battle to see which is better. We'll probably do a case opening. And then on Saturday, we will be opening for the Arch Lord Chris yet, not necessarily until we get it, because it might be, I don't know how hard it'll be with only three QCRs in here, because this is a collector rare set. They added three QCRs inside, so I'm assuming they won't be that hard to get, so maybe we'll be able to get it. Uh, maybe we will open until we get it. I'm not really sure yet. I haven't decided on that just yet, so super rare on the third slot. I'm assuming QCR will be in the third slot as well, like a normal collector rare set. I'm not going to do any pack trick here today, because I'm just saying... Oh, Dogwoods in here called the Haunted. Interesting. Terraforming. Another terraforming reprint. Fronic Guardian. That's one of your good cards that used to be valuable. No longer valuable. Probably good though. You make that thing more accessible. Foolish Burial is also in here. Hmm, I'm guessing those will get collectors, at least some of them. There's Arcelor Christia. Honest would be a cool collector. I don't know what the collectors are just yet. I haven't really done really uh, a lot of like video watching or anything of this personally. I just wanted to kind of go in blind, but it's hard to avoid the the uh, Archlord Christie. I couldn't avoid it. Baguska is in there. The uh, Memento Mimic Clan. All right, Before Mage Trick Clown. So yeah, right, right now we are not pulling as many high rarity cards as rarity collection right now, but we do have the potential to get at least QCRs. I, I suggested that. I don't know if you guys remember. I said to make uh, collector rare sets better. I'm sure other people did as well, but uh, make collector rare sets better. How about we put the quarter centuries in there as well? They did it. They only put three, but that's actually okay. You know, not having like a million in there is probably a good thing. And honestly, makes it a little bit easier for people to collect the sets or acquire the ones they actually want. So that's, oh wait, is this a reference to the go Goblin Calligrapher? I think this is a Goblin Calligrapher card. It looks just like that little dude from, what set was that? Pop it up on the screen. Original Goblin Calligrapher is just a vanilla card. Okay, Foolish Burial, Angelico, Valmonica. So is that, is the... Momental land is that a uh, archetype based on that or what is that based on the oh the horned dragon Wait, is that a trihorn archetype i'm confused okay kind of cool all right all right i see you winning me over okay that's this is pretty cool supply squad uh i'm not gonna overreact or anything. we have not pulled anything but supers yet mech lord no i just <laughs> colossal fighter uh, that probably needs that with how edison's getting absolutely insane yeah actually uh, pretty cool to see how many Edison reprints they're doing. We have a uh, Memento, Memento Land Mace. Pretty cool. Summoner Monk. And now I don't remember what I was going to say. I forgot. <laughs> 
Oh, so, oh yeah, the, uh, what are they called? The Mech Lords. Yeah, I did a video. I have not actually released it yet, but opening some Rage of Raw, and man, it was like Mech Lord every pack, and I was like, man, this is rough. Archlord Christia, I don't even think had a low rarity. I might have had a low, lower, lower rarity, but all the, the copies were extremely expensive. That's a pretty cool card. Tatsunutushigo. Tatsunoko? Interesting. We were we referencing some old stuff. Yeah, because Archlord, I think from uh, Stardust Overdrive, that regular secret was like a hundred and something bucks, unlimited. First Eds were absolutely ridiculous because Stardust Overdrive first ed packs are really hard to come by. So, pretty interesting. Nice for them to actually reprint that. Colossal Fighter. Let's see if there's any other Edison stuff in here. Van Straw, that's the stuff I'm excited about. Dark Honest. Dark Honest, that's a pretty new card. I don't know if anybody even uses that. Call the Haunted. We have a Valhalla, Hall of the Fallen. Same thing with that. Valhalla, Hall of the Fallen. That is, that feels redundant right there just because all the words sound the same. Goblin, we have a Tatsuno Toshigo. Man, they're gonna have to have some short names for this. This is a, uh, a lot. That's a lot of syllables. A lot of syllables in one name. We have Foolish Burial, Draco Berserker, still supers. Wait, are we gonna get anything? Oh wait, I forgot. It's a collector rare set. You get three ultras per box. Very exciting. So yeah, that's why we're not getting anything because this is just a normal collector rare box. Fortunately, there is a chance for QCRs, but pro I'm guessing those are like what one per case, one per three box, one per four, well, something like that. I would guess one per four boxes. You might even be able to get all three in one case, which would actually be kind of nice. But in terms of like actual like quality cards, you're only getting three ultras a box, maybe one collector rare. That's one every three boxes, and maybe I'm guessing one every quarter century might be one every four boxes because that's what they did with just in general the core sets. I don't know if they changed them up for these side sets or collector rare sets, whatever you want to call them. Stand up Cincher Iron. Also, I want to remind you guys, it's Wednesday on Friday at 5 p.m. We are going to be live on Whatnot opening Legend of Blue Eyes first edition all the way through Ancient Sanctuary first edition, all 11 sets, booster boxes. So you can actually purchase some of those packs right now if you're watching this. There are five of the sets are going to be up for auction live. There's, there's a pre-bid as well. So if you want to pre-bid and get uh, a bid in early, then you can do that now. There's also buy it now for the other six sets. So there's our first ultra rare. The Momenta Land Bone Party. That's pretty creepy looking. I kind of like it. So, but yeah, if you want to go buy some of the packs right now, I think the, some of them are available right now. Six of them on my show. So you can check out the link in the description. You get $25 or $15, sorry, not $25. Sorry, maybe in the future it'd be $25. Who knows? $15 credit when you sign up using my link. It also supports me as well. So go check that out. I'm pumped for that stream. We have the uh, Valmonica because obviously uh, no one's ever opened the first 11 Yu-Gi-Oh sets first edition all at the same time. So gonna be pretty crazy. If you do miss the stream, we will have some videos afterward, but obviously the live event's gonna be pretty amazing. So I would recommend coming out for that if you guys want to be a part of it. It's gonna be pretty cool. We have pulled one Ultra. <laughs> there are not many left. Uh, we have a Memento Mace, Advanced Draw. So yeah, get pumped. It's gonna be epic. I wanna see you guys there Friday at 5 p.m. It's gonna be the craziest stream we've ever done, uh, not only on Whatnot, but ever. It's gonna be pretty amazing. I'm pumped, I'm excited. So I hope to see you guys there. I wanna remind you guys over the next couple of days that it's happening. So just in case you only see like this video this week, then you know, you know, maybe I'll mention it tomorrow. Maybe you only watch tomorrow's video, then you'll see it, you know what I mean? Fly Squad, we have a Mento Anguish. So I, I saw that this in the, I think in the OCG, this was one of the quarter centuries. I don't actually know the quarter centuries in English besides the Christia. So that could be one of them, the Anguish. Maybe, maybe not. We have a uh, Entenair. We have Imperial Custom, okay. Honest, oh wait, I forgot to mention Honest. That's a good Edison card as well. That one's a little bit more accessible though. Probably didn't even need the reprint, but hey, now it's even more accessible. Cool, super rare, Angel of Zero. Two Ultras down, that means we should have four more in here in these last few packs here. We have a Draco Berserker of the Tenyi. We have a Center Iron True Awakening. Okay, there can only be one. There can be only one. I always say there can only be one instead of there can be only one. I don't know why, but for some reason I always say that backwards. Uh, pretty nice card. Here's a Starlight and Dawn of Majesty. I think it was like completely worthless as an ultra. Pretty weird that it's now a rare. Okay, so there are a few Edison cards. There's not nothing that I care about in here. There's at least something. I am I am a little excited to potentially pull the, the Christia. So I'm hoping that that will be something we can pull. Once we pull that, we're good to go. So hopefully that can happen on Saturday. So we're doing the Whatnot stream Friday at 5 p.m. Saturday, probably around 12 in the afternoon, something like that. We're going to be doing a live stream. Uh, ooh. Okay, Cinder Iron Legacia, opening more of this set. So there's going to be a lot. Uh, we might even open some rarity collection on that live stream as well. Who knows? We might have to throw in some just for a little bit of fun. Should be some giveaways and the whatnot. And I think I'm going to have some giveaways on Saturday as well. So if you want to get in on those giveaways, speaking of, make sure, go check out the YouTube community tab. Make sure you didn't win or that you did win. And then follow up with me via email. I have a few people I have not shipped to yet, but I've been 
better about keeping up with it. I'm still a little behind. I say every Friday, I'm gonna announce them and then I forget on Friday, but it's at least like one every week and a half or two weeks. Now it used to be like every two months. So uh, it, it's a lot to keep up with. Uh, giveaways are a lot of shipping, a lot of communicating, which is what takes forever and, and verifying that you're actually the person who said it and all that stuff. But I do want you guys to be able to get some free stuff from me. So that's where we're gonna continue to do it. We have Censure Iron Bonds, super. So make sure to check that YouTube community tab on my profile. You guys can see it on the screen. It's popping up right now. So that way, I know a lot of people have never even checked it before. So if you were one of those people, you probably want it at some point. Well, I won't say probably, but there is a chance. A lot of people tell me, I never checked it. Didn't realize I won. Yeah, you gotta check it. Okay, got something here we have. All right, Century Iron Primera, another Ultra. So four Ultras, nothing high end or high rarity, I should say. Uh, I don't know if those are high end or not. They might be. We have Arch Nemesis. We have Angelo Valmonica. Okay, Imperial Custom. Down to what are we down to? Three, six, nine packs out of 48. We have two more Ultras minimum, assume, assuming it's the normal box. Okay, uh, the Demono Valmonica. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I've never heard of these archetypes. I know they just came out, but but I haven't even heard people mention them, so I'm guessing they're not too crazy, but maybe they are. We have Imperial Custom and... Okay, the Momental Tectilka Combined Creation, Ultra Rare. Okay, yeah, that is... Man, these names are... Every new set, I'm like, they just keep making the names longer and longer, and then they somehow one-up it every time. Okay, let's see if they can uh, one-up it again with another crazy name. Arch Nemesis Escatos. Escatos. La Monica Intoner. Come on. Give us something crazy right here. Let's get a quarter century or a collector rare in these last few packs. We have five packs left. We are literally on the last few packs. We've opened 43 packs from this set already. More will be open in the next few days. Let me know if you are excited about this set. Let me know if you want to see a little rarity collection battle between these two. I think that's likely to happen. So let me know if you want to see it. One twelfth of the box left. We have a Arch Nemesis Eschatos, Foolish Burial, Center Iron, True Awakening, Valhalla, the Hall of the Fallen. Valhalla, Hall of the Fallen. Say that three times fast right now. Try it right now. I'm talking about, I'm talking to you watching the video. Say it. Valhalla, Hall of the Fallen. If you say Valhalla, it's a little easier instead of Valhalla. Makes it harder. Gravity Collapse, we have a Velmonica Followed Rhythm. Followed Rhythm, two packs left. There's gotta be an Ultra in here, right? I hope so. We have five right now. We have a Pophis. Coming out of the last pack, Collector Rare's doing us in again. Man, who's excited for this set? Wow, look at all the pulls we have in 47 packs. Yay, yay, Collector Rares. Uh, I will, I mean, I'm gonna make our final judgment tomorrow when we fa it faces Rarity Collection, but you know, that's a little more expensive, but it feels like you're gonna get a little bit more value in terms of like actually pulling cool stuff. Who knows, maybe, maybe not, maybe I could be wrong. Last pack magic. I'm gonna do this just in case this does have an actual ultra like it's supposed to. We have terraforming. Last pack magic. If you guys have enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, uh, you can use my affiliate link down below for this set if you even want it. If you don't, rarity collections may still be up, so you can go check that out for a discount code there and whatnot. On Friday is gonna be crazy. All right, and of course we're gonna be opening more of this on Saturday. It looks like we did get something in the final pack. How did it end up being in the final pack? Ultra rare, collector rare, quarter century. Okay, Valmonica Celta. So three ultras per box. Not the most exciting, but that's just collector rares for you. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Liu Guine 62, Yu-Gi-Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa Jr. Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.